You must be crazy Making me crazy I just can't believe it You just can't conceive it And it's crazy It's driving me crazy Y'all know I made my own song up. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you may be on the diaspora, let me say thank you and welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I've been me in me in my A is what it means. I've been missing in action for a couple weeks, family. Um Last week, oh boy, yes, I um, my beloved Zuri uh, was put down, and y'all know that I was giving you updates about Zuri and how well he was doing. In fact, I was so surprised, I guess I was enamored with the fact that he was doing so well that he would survive um, pretty long on his prednisone and whatnot I can't think that was just you know my desire for him and so I made sure that since I got the diagnosis that I wanted to make him as comfortable and let him feel as loved as possible and um, I took him outside just to suffice it uh, and explain to you that he used um, the bathroom I don't know what happened and his whole back his whole back end broke down I've never seen anything like it. Um, he was in so much pain and I was in shock and he just came like scooting to me like help me, help me, help me. Um, his whole back end was dismantled. I have no idea um, what the breakdown was but as we all know he had some type, he did have lymphoma and um, so I don't know if it at the end is hips broke I, I have no idea but he is now where all good dogs go and that's to dog heaven so and I know he's up there with my beloved Makiba and Kwambi and uh, Mandela <laughs> Jomo Kenyatta and the rest of my beloved pets that I've had over the years and I want to just uh say thank all of y'all who have wished um, peace and health good health on my animal i appreciate y'all very much so i'll let you know now he is at peace okay so i just been kind of reflecting and i haven't really felt too much like making videos so with that being said i'm gonna move forward and there's been a lot of shit going on since i've been gone some stuff I don't even care to comment on. There's a lot of mental health issues going on, as y'all know. It's it's just an epidemic all over the planet. We need to do something about our mental health issues. Some of us, fortunately, are addressing it, but I don't. I don't. I'm skeptical of any kind of addressing any kind of problem that would give you eight nine pills to rectify it um, I'm just not comfortable with that so with that being said the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a comment about my beloved <laughs> young nephew Kanye West um, and he's kept, kicked up a lot of controversy with the comments that he's made about slavery being a choice. Um, I believe that today mental slavery is a choice with all the information that is permeating the planet. For you to still be ignorant today is because you are enslaved. Now that results only in that component, in that arena that I just mentioned. Because what Kanye and even my man Van that was on TMZ 
what they failed to even mention was that although there were only a few owners, slave owners, and there were slaves that outnumbered them, and we were more valuable than anything, the value of us, what you fail to realize that even if you only had a hundred slave owners and you had a thousand slaves, you have to realize because you were identified by color, your oppression was written into the laws. So not only did you deal with chattel slavery, that was just a small component if you really want to talk about um, the dynamic and the depths of the madness that these people perpetrated upon my people. You would have to go and look at the laws like peonage period, Jim Crow period, um, uh, uh, reconstruction, because all that had nothing to do with chattel slavery, but there's no way you can get out of it because it was written into the laws, Kanye. And because you failed to even think about that, it made what you said so ignorant. It made it so preposterous. It made it so detrimental and disturbing and destructive to my ancestors and and the descendants of my ancestors that you have to be checked. That for that reason alone. You got out there and you got with them Kardashians and them gypsies blew they, you, your mind is blown now. And I believe Don uh what's your mother name? Dondra? I believe that she's turning her grave looking at the man that you have become. She's spinning like a spinning damn top looking at your behavior and how you are represented because from what I'm hearing your mother was a powerful sharp woman that taught in the university so with that being said you are a disgrace and it has nothing to do with free thinking it has nothing to do with uh, none of that it has something to do with you totally negated a fact that our slavery was written into the laws so now you're you not only are is it written into the laws. So even the people that can't afford to have slaves, they can catch you and take you and bring you back to the master. Your my your our ancestors' oppression was written into the laws. So there's no way in the world you can overtake a system with a thousand uh, slaves and a whole system, a whole country that is built with your impression in mind that is written into the laws it doesn't work that way all you can do is grow a country up to the richest country in the world with free labor which is what we did so we didn't have a choice we did not have a choice in the very fact that you would say something like you empowered the white supremacists you empowered ignorant ass people to regurgitate that silly stupid talking point that has no basis in truth it is propaganda and it's destructive and to give you a better take on what I said I was reading the Breaking Brown newsletter for this week and shout out to Yvette Carnell and the Breaking Brown family um, Yvette said something and I thought that it, it, it it's real powerful and I just want to take the time to read it to you guys right now if you don't mind I know you're tired of Kanye West but understand that this is a conversation about Kanye West but at the same time it isn't it is also about who the native black community elevates to speak for us and represent us in white spaces and it's about the consequence of being viewed through the lens of vapid celebrity Part of the problem is also that blacks, we don't want to see ourselves. We can't handle the truth. We're delusional. Just like the rest of the society. Okay, just that we can't afford to be delusional. Much like Kanye West, black people want to believe something that's not true about our own agency. And we'd rather watch wild aspiration on stage and on TV than be entertained by an accurate representation of ourselves. To not at least want that what is real, I mean, to, a, to, a, to at least not want that is a real problem. It's a problem that we don't want to see ourselves. 
We don't want to see ourselves. That's partly why we can't understand ourselves. We don't want to see ourselves in a totality of who and what we are. I've gathered a few of the best takes from the Kanye debacle. So read it and enjoy. The one that stuck up to me was, <laughs> it's like this one right here. It said Kanye West lecturing us on slavery, but he gets the history all wrong. Our knowledge of Tubman is limited by the fact that she will never, she never learned to read or write. Her illiteracy may be attributable partly to the brain injury that she suffered at the age of about 13 while she was protecting a younger child and her, than herself from getting a whipping. The overseer who crushed her skull gave her a permanent disability. Until Harriet Tubman died and every day on the Underground Railroad as a person younger than the 40 year old West is now, she suffered seizures that render her temporarily unconscious and thus pray to any assailant. And even with that being said, she still, she still took countless of and hundreds of black people to freedom. She navigated all of that with the seizures that she had, with her falling out and that was the testament to the spirit and the person who she was. When Southern newspapers justified lynching, this is a New York Times article, the bloody celebration at which 500 jeering spectators saw Henry Lowry burned to ashes was held at Nodana, Arkansas on January 26, 1921, which was the bloody race riots of uh the more race-wise happened between, I think it was 1917 and 1921 and any other time in history. Right. Among those in attendance was a reporter for the Memphis Press whose story under the headline, Kill Negro by Inches, validated the barbaric proceedings and cataloged the victim's suffering in lurid detail, noting that Laurie remains stoically silent even after the flesh had dropped away from his legs and his and the flames were leaping towards his face. Now, I think that had my man Henry had a choice, he wouldn't allow that to happen to him. If he would have not been in a company of thieves and murders and barbarics and uh, just unconscious, sick human beings. Things. I ain't gonna call them humans. These were things. Um, he wouldn't allow that to happen if he had a choice. A mob hanged him. So when Mr. West says stupid things like he said and insults a whole group of people like he did for us with those words, the only thing I can say is, Kanye, you're disgraced now, man. And I don't know how you're gonna bounce back from that, but if you if your intentions were to get um a certain amount and a certain type of people to become uh fans of your music, you probably succeeded in that. You probably succeeded in it. But for us and those of us who have a reality that we have to live every day, I think you did those of who did us a disservice. And you better watch it because you have two children coming up now. And hopefully they re they reality stays in Calabasas. Because if they ever venture out, <laughs> know is your words. And the ignorance of what you said that could also be the demise of them. So with that being said, I just wanted to make that comment about Kanye. Give y'all an update of what's going on. And... Um, Hopefully I'll be back a little later, right here in the mental house. Bye-bye.